Okay, I'm. Uh, this is a guide to killing the gaping dragon. Uh, for those that are interested in why I'm back all the way over here from my playlist, um, I have a big explanation. I was filming, right? And um, apparently, I wasn't filming, and I died to gaping dragon. Otherwise, this would be a jump cut. Um, Anyway, for those that's here for just the guide, uh, there's my stats, here's my items. Um, you can pause the video on those if you want to look. Um, I've already done everything in the previous video to this in the playlist, if you're in the playlist looking at my guides. Um, uh, I have a legit souls playlist that I build. And while I'm playing through this playthrough, I'm creating guides at the same time to kind of kill things. Uh, so there's that. Um, other than that, I think... I think that's about it. Okay, now those of you that's in the guide for uh, Gaping Dragon, and somewhat to those that's in the playlist, I guess you could say. The playlist is me actually playing the Let's Play stuff. Uh, but anyway, back to what I was talking about. Uh, how do I put this? Basically, I don't fully understand Gaping Dragon. However, before anybody tunes off of this, I find Gaping Dragon to be one of the easier of the bosses I fight, even though I did die that once. I mean, you die in this game, it's part of this game. Um, but I find it to be one of the easier ones due to the fact that what I believe is working, this is what I believe. I have not looked up any guides to how to kill Gaping Dragon. And I literally learned Gaping Dragon on my own. So if I'm incorrect with any information that I'm about to give you, I'm sorry. And please do not post in the comments. I'd like to believe that I was correct in my accusations and thoughts. If I am correct, feel free to praise me and have a little moment down there saying, I oh, was correct and you did good. No. Anyway, <laughs> besides that, I never go up there and kill the guy. I never kill the channeler up there, mainly because I don't know how to get up there. I said, here's the cutscene, here's a little bit of lore about him, um, he was a dragon, he got, like, consumed with eating things, constant hunger, but, um, he changed and morphed his body, basically evolution, into, um, a giant mouth and stomach, so he's literally half mouth, half stomach, all dragon, somewhat, I guess, I don't know, there's the stomach. But all he does is go around eating things and wanting to eat more, and that's like his thing. So, uh, yeah. And really, he's an optional boss. I just like getting down here and killing him for his tail. That's literally why we're down here. I have one Estus Flask, which is awesome. That, and we want our souls back, so that's a thing as well. Well, since we're friggin' right here, we might as well. Well, nope, never mind. She dares to throw anything at me. If you have trouble with the Chandler being up there, because you know how the Chandler is. Oh! Every time he looks like that, you want to run away. Here's the guide part of things. Uh, when he's staring at you with his face open, you just kind of run around. Um, I think it's because he's blind, and I know he's blind, because I know that. Um, that he kind of follows the water movement. So if you walk in the water, he changes directions and go. So my thought process is that, you know, water is like not your friend in this. Hey, he turns up, you run. You just, you just friggin' run. Because he's going, he's coming at you, bro. <laughs> in all legitness. I'm not sure how... I don't know if the water thing that I'm talking about is true, but it would make sense due to the fact that there's a friggin' ton of water around here. Um, and while he looks like that, that's pretty much your time to uh, heal and stuff like that. Um, if you, for let's say all intents and purposes, um, don't, you're gonna get hurt. You're gonna hit very badly. Wait for him to actually get 
down into a charging position. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. Sometimes it takes him forever to get into a charging position. Sometimes it takes him just a few seconds, but you're waiting for that charging position, basically. There it is. Then run to whatever direction you want to run in. Get a little bit like right here. And then wait for him to like stop running. He stops running at typically at like walls and stuff like that. There's the tail. Now I don't have to worry about him as much. Now I can just use my lightning speed. Which is the range portion of this. When he looks like that can try for some range. I wouldn't necessarily suggest it, especially when he's flying. Because when he's flying, he's literally coming at you. Um, so try to do your best to not do that. Um, I like standing right here because typically the Chandler can't get you right here. And I'm just going to do this. I'll let him get a little bit close to me and then I'm going to go off. That's another tactic you can use. But really, he's just the bumbling idiot who runs around the room and the Chandler is my main problem. I freaking hate the Chandler. Chandler bugs me. When he drops down, you can if you can get a lock on quickly, feel free to go ahead and start shooting at him. Because typically, your distance away from him is a big factor. But this is your time to attack, so try to get about three hits on him, I guess. Maybe four if you're, if you're you know, a little bit ballsy. But then again, run right back down here so that you're not being hit by the friggin' Chandler. Get you a heal on because he looks like that. And then just run. And that's the entire process of what I'm doing right now. And again, it's just a long fight. It's not really a... It's not a tough fight, in my opinion. I did show my stats, didn't I? There's my stats and there's my items. Oh, the screen. Yeah, I did. I already said that. I did do it. Squat back over to my lightning bolts. Waiting on him to sense me, I guess. Try to get at least one hit on him while he's walking. Try to get about two while he's sitting still, and then one while he's curling back up. Alright, and then, you know, just walk off of it. Oh, wow, he came back down. That's rare. I can't actually get a lock on him. He's walking. Getting about. I might be able to get a couple hits on him here. If he didn't hit me. Yeah. Sometimes you'll get into this battle of, am I going to hit him or is he going to hit me? I do. Oh, I'm out of lightning spears. <laughs> and eventually you'll run out of lightning spears. And all I if you run out of lightning spears, the batch, like, look how much health I got to build in. That's like none. Okay, now the melee portion of how to fight this guy. Same thing, just stick around to his butt. There are a few enemies that you do not want to touch their butt. Like, um, Koilana and all them. Oh, but jeez, do I need a heal. Oh, he got me. Oh, well, this can still be considered a guide. I basically killed him. If you're going to melee fight him, then what you want to do is just go and uh, stick to uh, fighting him in his stomach down there. Because if you get too close to his second leg, um, he'll grab you and actually eat you and deal like massive damage. So watch out for that. Um, I'll consider this a good guide, even though I didn't beat him. Because nothing really happens from what I was doing right there to when you actually kill him. And I got what I came there for. I got my axe and I got, you know... I might go down there for the souls later, but literally killing him now for me is just getting souls. Um, 
So yeah, thanks for watching. That's the guide to that. Um, again, I do a playlist of me playing through here. Uh, feel free to keep watching. Um, up to you. And yeah, later.